वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी लेसन नंबर सेवन मोशन फोर्स एंड वर्क ऑब्जर्व एंड डिस्कस इन द फर्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन सी ए हॉर्स राइडर राइडिंग हॉर्स एंड गेटिंग डिसप्लेस्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर प्लेस विथ स्पीड इन द सेकेंड पिक्चर वी कैन सी ए काउ इज ग्रेजिंग स्लोली एंड गेटिंग डिसप्लेस्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू other place in the third picture we can see kuli is drawing cart with heavy weight that means here he is displacing weight from one place to other place in the fourth picture we can see a gas stove on this gas stove food is cooked in pressure cooker and milk is expanded due to heat supplied by the gas in all the above cases we can see that there is a displacement there is change in direction as well as there is change in shape of the objects let's recall what is meant by motion displacement of an object from one place to another in a specific time is called the motion of that object what causes a change in motion change in motion it is caused due to the force applied on it students we have seen that a change occurs in the motion or the shape of a body when a force acts on it now let us see how work is done when a force acts distance and displacement Ranjit's house is at place A. The figure alongside shows the distance traversed by Ranjit to reach his school at D. If we do not take direction into account, we find that Ranjit traversed a distance equal to AB plus BC plus CD. However, on doing this his displacement was equal to ad ranjit's displacement from his house to the school is shown in the picture with the broken line ad ad is the minimum distance along a straight line from ranjit's house to the school the minimum distance traversed in a particular direction along a straight line is called displacement speed and velocity what is meant by speed the distance traversed by an object in unit time is called the speed of that object what is the formula for calculating speed the formula for calculating speed is speed equal distance traversed upon time required for traversing the distance when we say that the speed of a car is 40 km per hour there is no need to specify the direction but to predict whether a storm will reach a particular place or not a mention of its direction is essential distance the length of the route actually traversed by a moving body irrespective of the direction is called distance distance is a scalar quantity displacement the minimum distance traversed by a moving body in one direction from the original point to reach the final point is called displacement in displacement both distance and direction are taken into account therefore displacement is a vector quantity the unit of measurement of distance and displacement is the meter in the si as well as in the mk system of measurement difference between distance and displacement 
distance is the length of route actually traversed by a moving body irrespective of the direction displacement is the minimum distance traversed by a moving body in one direction from the original point to reach the final point distance does not have direction while displacement has direction in distance its magnitude is greater than or equal to that of displacement in displacement its magnitude is less than or equal to that of distance distance is a scalar quantity while displacement is a vector quantity velocity velocity is the distance traversed by a body in a specific direction in unit time the velocity of a body can be calculated by the following formula velocity equal displacement upon period of time required for the displacement let's find the unit let's find the unit of speed first formula for calculating speed is speed equal distance traversed upon total time here distance is measured in meters and time is measured in seconds therefore we can conclude that the unit of speed is meters per seconds now let's find the unit for velocity the formula for calculating velocity is displacement upon total time displacement is measured in meters time is measured in seconds therefore we can conclude that unit of velocity is meters per seconds from the calculation of unit of speed and velocity we can conclude that both of them they are having same unit and that is meters per seconds let us now use the above formula to find out ranjit's velocity and speed when he goes to school as shown in the figure 7.2 here the actual distance traversed by ranjit from home to school is ab plus bc plus cd where ab is 500 meter plus bc bc distance is 700 meter plus cd cd distance is 300 meter now let's calculate this 500 plus 700 plus 300 that is equal to 1500 meter total time from home to school is 8 minutes from a to b plus 11 minutes from b to c plus 6 minutes from c to d equal to 25 minutes ranjit's displacement from home to school that is ad is equal to 1000 meters thus ranjit's velocity when going from home to school is let's calculate velocity equal displacement upon total time now displacement ad is 1000 meters let's put it upon total time it is 25 minutes therefore by solving it we can have 40 meters upon 60 seconds and after solving that we will get 0.66 meters per second now let's calculate ranjit speed while going to school speed equal distance traversed upon total time now here distance travel by ranjit is 1500 meters upon the total time is 25 minutes is equal to 60 meters upon 60 seconds that is equal to 1 meter per second therefore ranjit speed is 1 meter per second ranjit did not take the straight route of minimum distance while going to the school therefore the magnitudes of his velocity and speed 
came out to be different. Had Ranjit actually gone by the straight road AD? Then the magnitude of his velocity and speed would have been the same. Difference between speed and velocity Speed is the distance covered per unit time, while velocity is the displacement per unit time. Speed does not have direction. Velocity, it has direction. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Formula to find out speed is equal to distance traverse upon total time, while formula to find out velocity is displacement upon total time. Mm-hmm.